Well, in today's tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to write a script in Photoshop for a batch resizing of your images. We've been talking about resizing a lot lately, and it's very, very important in Photoshop. So let me go ahead and start my five minute timer to go ahead and get that kicked off there. Try to keep it under five minutes here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you an example real quick. OK, so I have a client of mine. Um, her products for her store are actually you know 158 by 158 now what I've went ahead and did is I already restructured my folders here a lot of times you know in reference to web development and um, your Photoshop graphic design work half the work is file structuring so I have the small and then I also have the largest the sizes here um, the the, the uh, one size here of the images I already noticed that these images right here are 2101 by 1400 and these images right here are 1400 by 1400 so we're dealing with two different sizes and this only works if you have all your images one size in that actual folder so let's go ahead and go back over here to Photoshop and we have a 158 by 158 is one of the sizes now what we could do is we can come over here and we can create this right here and I'm going to show you the long way really quickly I'm just going to open up one of these images right here and you see how big that image is that's 50 percent of it because we can see it right there okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to select this and we take this over and we drag it we hold the shift key drop it in there right click and we're going to convert to a smart object command T command zero and we would grab this corner hold option and shift and scale it proportionally and the funny thing is in order to get that shoe inside of there we do have to break the bounding box so you're going to see all that dead space around there which is not going to be good so we definitely don't want to do that so how do we resize all these images to have the perfect size and fit inside the box perfectly <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to Photoshop we're going to go to file we're going to select scripts and we're going to go to image processor so within the image processor here what we're going to do is we're going to select the folder okay so we got a folder here and it says open the image to apply setting and the folder that we are going to be selecting from is going to be the 1400 by 1400 okay so we have that folder selected then over here it says select the location to save the processed images and we're going to save it to the three tens by three tens so we're going to do go ahead and do the three tens by three tens first that's her large size and her small size is 158 by 158 right here we're going to say resize to fit save it as a jpeg quality 10 and we have 310 by 310 right here and you can also add copyright information if you decide you want to but that's all we're going to do here and what we're going to do is we're going to hit run and you're going to see the images that's inside that folder the um, 1400 by 1400 they're going to open up and they're going to resize themselves and we just got six images inside the 310 by 310 so when we open these up here you see that they look perfect so let's go ahead and open up one of these shoes right here you notice that it's resized inside that box perfectly so if you ever need to resize a bunch of photos at one time this is definitely going to be the process that you want to go with okay so now let's go ahead and do it one more time so you'll definitely know exactly how to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to file uh, script image processor and now what we're going to do is we're going to get everything that's in the 1400 by 1400 and that's the reason why I named my folders 1400 by 1400 the 310 by 310 so I have a little shortcut right here to remind me to know I'm selecting the right folder so this folder right here we're going to pull everything from the 1400 by 1400 folder and we're going to uh, drop it over here in the 158 by uh, we're going to actually drop it we're going to get everything from the I'm getting a little confused here we're going to get everything from the we already did that folder we're going to get everything from here the 21 01 by 1400 and we're going to save it to that 310 by 310 since we already have that set up right there and let's go ahead and run that we got 46 seconds left here and I'm going to go over and I'm going to uh, relocate one more for you this might be one of the first videos we have to go over five minutes but it's okay you guys can stick around so here's all the images right here and everything looks good inside there saved us a lot of time so let's just go do it one more time so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file and I'm going to go to script image processor and our time is going to expire 
it's okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go select everything from the 1400 by 1400 again. And let's go ahead and just wait five seconds and get this timer expiration here. And okay, time is up. And we're going to get rid of that guy. And we're going to save this right here, 1400 by 1400. And we're going to save it into the 158 by 158. So let's go ahead and hit open. And we're going to say 158 by 158. And what we're going to do is everything from 1400 by 1400 is going to save in the 158 by 158 small. Let's go ahead and run it. Everything opens up there. And this is really cool, man. I absolutely love this. I've done a lot of batch work in the past. And, uh, you know, it, it's definitely a time saver. Um, and it's kind of cool to watch those images kind of flip through um, one at a time. So here's that image right there. And you see how it looks right there. It's perfect. You know, the shoe's not pixelated. It's not stretched. You know, but like I said before, the main thing that you want to do is make sure that you have all your images, I don't know why I keep selecting that, the same size in the folder. So let's go over here and we're going to get everything from the 2101 by 1400 and we're going to drop it over here into the 158 by 158. We're going to do that folder now. Let's go ahead and run it. Alrighty, so um, let's go over here and look inside here. So we have our smalls, we have our larges, you know, we have 12 items, 12 items. We have six items in here and six items in here. So open up that small one more time and flip through them really quickly. And you see here that everything looks really, really nice. So um, this is a way for you to resize all your images all at one time. And then also I want to go over here real quick to Dropbox and stock photography. Actually, I don't have it here with me, um, but I do have uh, uh, um, a folder, three different folders that I do want to share with you by watching this video of all kind of great, wonderful stock photography. If you're on Pinterest, this stuff is amazing for Pinterest. And I wish I would have had it set up um, to where I could share you, share with you these uh, stock photographies and give you a few samples of what it is. I'm actually, you know, in the process of plugging up my external hard drive right now to show you these images and I need to go ahead and add them to Dropbox. So I always have a um, copy of them with me and um, I will share these with you through Dropbox. So if you're already not on Dropbox, um, I will send you an invitation and then I will share with you the stock photography upon request of this video. So um, if you're actually in the Udemy course, you will automatically get the stock photography, you know, uh, immediately. So let's go to the stock photography um, over here. And it's amazing photos one and check these out. I mean, this bike Statue of Liberty, you know, you got some celebrities in here, some cool houses. I've been pin pinning this stuff on Pinterest. It gets a lot of repins. Um, my website is attached to it. <clears throat> so every time one of these um, images get repinned, it automatically, you know, goes over into, um, you know, it, it creates a backlink for my website. Uh, it's a great little cool little strategy, you know, and the images are really, really nice. So, um, by request here on YouTube, let me know that you want them. Um, if you're already a part of the Udemy course, they're already yours for the taking. You can download them and enjoy them as you desire. I thank you for watching the video. Sorry for taking so long. Sorry it took longer than five minutes, so, but you know, it happens sometimes. And I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye.